Just go all the way up and just pick the other choice. We have to pick five, no, right? No, why do you have to do that? Just go to the bottom of five. What? Just, just go down one more. Right. Yeah, just go down one more. Now you've chosen the right path. Yeah. Outside the casino. This way. This way. No. How did you know, Junpei? Hey. There, now that one. <laughs> so now that the red path is unlocked and the white path is locked now. So just... Okay, so now go down to this path. Outside the lab. <laughs> Whew, thank God Taking we got out of there. the steps necessary to murder, just fucking murder the shit out of, uh, of Clover. <laughs> like, uh, here's the steps that undo all the progress we made at making her not kill herself. I don't think you have to do that. You can go to the bottom one. Yeah. I just want to see the map. There's no other way to get to that. I just want to see the map be unlocked. No. Oh, no! What did we do wrong? Uh-oh. They're locked still. Uh-oh. They're locked still. Oh no, did we not do something right in those escape rooms? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, experimentally, let's just see what happens if I go to the forking path. And see if Clover's alive at that point. You know what I mean? Let's just see what happens in this scene. This is gonna One, take two, some editing. <laughs> Alright, seven pieces. The digital roots don't match up either. We've got similar problems. Yeah, I don't think this is happening. Oh, fuck, that's why. Okay. Th that's, that's fucking why. What? Okay, so we have to replay these. Uh, cause when we went through it, we didn't go through the- this path. We didn't go through door number five, and then we didn't go through the center, and then we went through the actual escape room, so we didn't get the hidden conversation that we're supposed to get if you go the right path immediately. That's why the lock is still there. So we didn't get the hidden conversation, which I'm sure we'd get with Santa, I'm assuming? Santa, oh, and, right. there was Santa and Ace will probably give us hidden conversations that we haven't had, cause they're the two characters we haven't had an in-depth conversation with. Right, we'll so have we have a conversation that was the equivalent of of doing the clover Ice one Nine. and doing this, yeah, and doing the seven one. All so right, that's well, the entire reason why we're all start fucked. playing them again. Fucking fuck this, fuck this goddamn fucking it's, visual novel shit. It's fine. All right, well let's redo it again. There's no need to be this dramatic. I'm not being dramatic. I'm just saying it's just a, I hate that shit. That's such a bad way to handle. It's a bad way to handle it in that they put the conversations in the escape room. Yeah, when like, these conversations means, need to be in novel means you mode. have to replay them. But, uh... Wait, you know what? It made more sense in the original version, only in that the original version was shittier. Yeah. Because the original version didn't have a flowchart. You had to play the entire game again. So you had to get an ending, then start the whole game over and button mash the entire game up to the choices. Oh, I think and then, skip, like, skip still existed. Yeah, but you still had to play. You had to replay every puzzle. You, you had to replay every uh, escape room every single time you replayed the game. Yeah, which so, realistically, that, these puzzle rooms aren't that complicated. No, they're not. The answer. It's yeah, a lot that, of they're not that complicated, and uh, it wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah, like they weren't complicated, and. So on, but yeah, like originally you had to replay the entire game, so the idea of like putting them in 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 escape rooms versus not in escape rooms was a meaningless. Could you skip? Point. That was a meaningless uh, distinction until now. Could you skip? Go back to the flowchart. What? Do you skip to the engine? The engine? Yeah, skip till after we've already done the engine. Why? There's not gonna be a conversation before then. How do you know? I think the conversation is when Santa's looking at the picture. Doesn't. We didn't get any information about when he was looking at the picture. We should have. Oh. We should have had some. That might be it. Yeah, we should have had something. We we learned literally nothing about his daughter or his uh, sister. I believe the box has reached the floor. Yeah, we're not skipping the engine. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> the the, the, the right thing there. we did first that the game acts like was supposed to be the last thing you did. She doesn't seem to be improving. Well, of course not. She's not gonna just get Can you better skip right away. Can you skip all this? Yeah. Fucking hockey for that. She gets. Just like, dude, years. literally yeah, skip. We're just. Hold on. We're just. Well, I'm, I'm keeping track keep of what they say to see if they change saying? anything. You know, but... We don't know for sure what where the change is. You just have an okay. assumption, but I should still see what the conversation is to see if it changes. You know, I. Speaking of experiment. Otherwise, we're just gonna be confused. Oh, here it is. this experiment some scientists here did we go. with rats. First, they took a squarish C-shaped tank 
and filled it with enough water that the rats could drown in it. Jesus. The tank has two exits. Just to make it easy, we'll call one A and the other B. Exit A is pitch black, so dark even a rat can't see anything. But exit B is electrified, which means the rat can't leave through it. So, what would a rat do if it was put in this situation? Which exit would the rat choose? B, of course. The rat has no way of knowing that exit B is electrified. Exactly. The rat goes to exit B. Of course, like I said, it's electrified. Which means the rat can't get out that way. So, after a lot of trial and error, the rat finally finds exit A. Is this supposed to explain why he went all gung-ho with a gun and insisted on going in a specific door? Is because of this experiment? Yeah. So this might be explaining the gun ending a little bit. Hmm. I can't say that's very interesting or relevant. It's simply the story of a laboratory experiment. You're right. It isn't very interesting. Yet. Let me tell you about psychic waves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering what prompts this. Like, what did we change? Like, because uh, we we did it. We did the fast way, which was by clicking on parts of the flowchart to change our path, as opposed to replaying the entire game again. So I'm like, what what did we change that led to this conversation that couldn't have happened otherwise? Oh, uh, we went the center route. The center route had uh, um, uh, had seven and and Santa. The seven and Santa. What do we? What, oh no, that was seven and Clover. We've never had a conversation with Santa that would prompt this, right? The only thing we had is he's like, "I hate luck." No, we didn't even have that because remember we chose five. Right, that's the chamber that leads to the. That's the other key, the white key. I guess that's why, because we've never had any interactions with him, so he Weird. sees us as a neutral like conduit. So he just sees Weird. like, oh, he's just a neutral person I can talk to. It's just confusing so far, just because to get the white keys. We had to string together all of the weird pseudoscience conversations about mummies and Ice Nine and stuff that were slightly connected and glycerin and everything. I, we'll see if this one connects at all. Yeah, because we had to we, we had to arbitrarily switch stuff around to make this trigger when it didn't trigger before. See, these scientists repeated this experiment over and over, using hundreds of different rats over several generations. Fuck. This produced some surprising results. With each generation, the rats took less time to find the correct exit. Eventually, a rat was put in the tank who instantly chose exit A without even attempting to go to exit B. So they're forcing us into the room with the two nine doors and one of the nine doors is a lie. And yeah. they're just going to keep doing it over and over again until people like manifest psychic abilities, basically? Yes. Okay. But that wasn't the most impressive part. The same experiment was conducted in another laboratory, far from the original one, with the same results. No, on second thought, the results weren't really the same. The rats in this second experiment began the trials with significantly faster times than the first rats in the initial one. These rats weren't related to the others and had never even come in contact with them. And yet, they all easily found their way to exit A as though they already knew. Psychic waves! Nano machines, son. What did it mean? Are you suggesting something like telepathy? Oh my God. They were passing information to one another through some undetectable medium? <laughs> How the hell would I know? I'm not any kind of scientist. I don't know what made him do that. You're but I do up, know man. that story's true. And if you've got another explanation, I'd sure love to hear it. I'm just trying to figure out why you're talking about Why it. are you talking about like <laughs> Yeah, like, where'd this come from? <laughs> this is what we were talking about earlier. Yeah. You execute these things so poorly that- Not, not like, only is it integrated into the story in a no, totally nonsensical way, but you have to unlock the ability to have this conversation? Like, why did- why did I have to unlock this? Why didn't it just happen the first time? I'm also more confused- I don't know what I changed that could possibly prompt this. I'm so confused why Santa said it. Because then when asked about it, like, is it telepathy? Fuck if I know! Why- <laughs> Why did you even talk about it? <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> Come on, let's get going. There's still a lot here we haven't checked out. And we gotta get the hell out of here before June passes out. Hey, All wait. Right. There's something I want to ask you. What? Why did they use that tank for the experiment? Huh? Well, I mean, it seems like you could conduct the same experiment without the water. They could have just used a dry box, you know? So the water is the equivalent of the nine-hour time limit. Yeah. 
If they needed to motivate the rats to escape, they could have, I don't know, put some bait by exit B or, or something. I mean, do they really have to make it so the rats can drown? You know, the word emergency comes from the same root as the word emerge. You ever think about that? No. Huh? Well, an emergency is something urgent, often something dangerous. And to emerge means to sort of come out, or appear, or rise out of something else. So what's going to emerge in an emergency? Inspiration. Inspiration? This is like a Vsauce video where he's just doing the word association game and not actually connecting the thoughts in any meaningful way. Yeah. Think about it. When the chips are down, either you crack or your mind focuses and pulls up what you need. Mm. So in an emergency, your real potential emerges. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. That's why the rats had to drown. They had to be in danger. There had to be an emergency for inspiration to emerge. Oh. No. Like, rats don't have inspiration, they just have... Hey, we got the lock. We got the key unlocked. Like, there we go. They're animals. They, that was nice of them to put a second menu option that takes you straight to the thing. Maybe there's one here too. Yeah, like, it's cargo room. It's it's cargo. Or... But they gave me a second option. I don't think that's usually the case. Oh no no you're right. Okay, that sometimes it is the case. Uh no go to. But go, it, yeah, it might take me directly to. Go to it. Also, nine photo, what no. the fuck? There's two keys in that room. <laughs> that's just mean. <laughs> oh, go to uh nine photos coffin. Yeah. Because Ace was going to tell us something, and then he just now was like, Now we finally ah, have all nine picture cards. We just need to insert these cards into the slots at the front of each box. You know which card goes in which box, yes? Uh, yeah, of course I do. It's really obvious. You just that sounds like your voice for Santa. Numbers. Then you pop the corresponding card in the right box. So, for instance, the card with the picture of Ace on it goes... The card with... The oh, uh... Huh? There you go. Hey! June, are you okay? I'm sorry, I, I gotta go check on her. You finish the box thing, alright? There's the split. He yeah. said, I'll leave you to it, but now we had to split off uh, instead. Um... Just put the cards in the boxes. I'm counting on you. Oh, I'm counting on you now, Are you alright? What happened? Oh. Wait a minute. Hmm. Does... No, Ace... Ace calls people by name, right? Yeah. I just had a thought. <sighs> so, remember how Ace seemed confused by this puzzle? Yeah. For some reason, even though it's the most obvious stupid thing ever? The cards just have people's faces on them, and nothing else. And they specifically established earlier in one of the other rooms, somebody had a conversation about the, the disease for face blindness. I think Ace has face blindness. And he can't tell who's who. But he calls people by their names. I think he picks up on cues of other people calling people by their names. And he can recognize names. But I think he has face blindness, and that's why he's confused by this face puzzle. What? And the only reason I'm bringing this up is because somebody brought up pro prophanasia or whatever the fuck earlier, the word for face blindness, in one of the other rooms. I don't that's, remember that's, that, but god damn Yeah, that's one of our- I think- <sighs> What a fucking- Was it Lotus? Yeah. It might have been Lotus. It was Lotus. But yeah, I, I remember because I specifically, I, I double-checked the spelling of the name so I could put it in the, I, I used it as an episode title, I think, when it, when it came up as a conversation, mm. is face blindness. So, I think Ace has face blindness and that's the reveal that happens here. Oh, shit. Yeah, but Santa could just help him. Oh, shit. Did Ace kill Lotus? But, like, on accident, like, the wrong person, and then, like, does he not know who to kill? So he's, like, killing people, and then, like, fuck, wrong bracelet. <laughs> like, what if, what if that's what happened? I would be... <laughs> he's, like, trying to kill the right person for the bracelet, but he doesn't know who's who, so he's, like, killing the wrong people. Like, fuck, that was Snake? <laughs> that would be the most saddest... <laughs> That'd be the saddest ending ever. Because we suggested how Snake, uh, how we suggested before Snake and Ace might have been the one that with the nine bracelet or something might have been the ones that opened up that door that ended up with Snake dying. Yeah. What if Snake really was dead or something and somehow like Ace made the mistake somehow or something because he does face blindness and he's like, fuck, that's the wrong bracelet. I was trying to get the other one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. Can you stand? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm fine. I just tripped. Don't give me that. Now is not the time. But it's true! I, I tripped over a box! 
Just let me see for a sec. Huh? You're still warm. <laughs> Where did you touch her? <laughs> I saw her fall. I think she really did just trip on something, you know? Still, to fall down like that? I think she's probably still a little messed up. All right, well, let's just get what out of here as fast as we can so we can get you to a hospital. This bit, this, she's pretty fucked up. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I don't think it's anything that serious. I just need a little medicine and some sleep, and I'll be fine. Medicine? Medicine, huh? Well, if we could get in touch with anyone outside, I'll bet Ace could swing that for you easy. What? Ace? Why? Huh? Don't you know? He's the president of a pharmaceutical company. Cradle Pharmaceuticals is the what? name, I think. We've heard of Cradle before, right? Yeah, they're the yeah. ones who fucking kidnapped the kids. Oh, fuck. That was, the, what, the submarine ending? That was a long time ago? Yeah, remember, because the, no, because remember Seven was talking about the fact that, like, all the kids went to, went to a Cradle Pharmaceutical Hospital. Ah. Uh, and that's uh -oh. what they were all kidnapped from. Uh-oh. Their flagship product is an anesthetic drug called Soparil. Oh, Soparil. how convenient. That thing you put in a bottle Soparil. that Zero threw on the ground? I've heard of that before somewhere. Soparo. It's an anesthetic that's a gas at room temperature. A lot like how nitrous oxide is. So it's what knocked everybody else and out, and also... Is that what he used to knock himself out? Yes. Because Ace knocked himself out at one point. Yep. It takes only a few seconds to spread, and even a small amount is very effective. Oh no, is Ace zero? <laughs> a bunch of countries quickly accepted it for widespread use within their police and military forces. It was an effective crowd suppressant and room clearer. Room clearer? Jeez. Ethical. I don't think they clear rooms and they pass out that quickly. Made it the ideal drug. It's been around for about six years. They developed it from the extracts of several different roots. It became popular almost as soon as it was made public, with many governments placing large orders. Demand for Soparil skyrocketed, and of course that meant Cradle Pharmaceuticals stock did too. So they bought a boat. Why do you know all of this? I heard it from the old man himself. From Ace? When? By the number four door at the central stairway, when we were searching the second class room. Remember how Snake, Seven, and you went to door five? It was back then. I asked him what he did for a living, and he said he ran his own company. Okay, so this one at least makes sense. We're getting context to the fact that this conversation only comes up if uh, Santa and Snake were together in a room. Yeah. After that, we just started talking, and I guess it just came up, you know? Huh. Are you worried about something? No, nothing. Uh, hmm. What the hell is he doing? June, don't push yourself, all right? Yes. Seriously, Santa, don't push yourself down. You take care of her. I'll go check on Ace. Looks like he's having trouble. Sure. What are you doing? What happened? Nothing. I... My vision has gotten rather blurry, I think, because of fatigue. I can't see very well at the moment. What can't you see well? These pictures. I don't care to admit it, but I may be developing presbyopia. Growing old is a difficult thing. At any rate, I'll leave the rest to you. I'm feeling awfully tired, so if you don't mind, I'd like to rest for a bit. How could simply looking at cards have tired him out? Hmm. But if it wasn't, what had made him so uncomfortable? Prosopagnosia. Well, put simply, it means a condition where the mind can't distinguish between human faces. Nailed it. <laughs> Fucking nailed it. This game is so words, My so face twisty. would look the same as Clover's or even yours. So they, so can't, they remember can't remember faces, faces which is how most people recognize each other. I've just been waiting for the damn conversation to come up because it was the weird like, ah, I just made that up to pass the time conversation. I'm like, when is it coming up? It yeah. has to come up now. Wait, when did this happen? This was in the... when Clover was stuck in the other room. Yeah. She was hacking the computers. Give me a second. Why? Oh, I can't look at the flowchart. I'm just trying to remember which one was, uh... Alright, oh, this was like seven or eight, so it does lead down the, cr the good ending path. Right. 
I was trying to remember whether or not it was from a path that led to the submarine ending, because I associate Lotus and Seven with submarine ending. So oh. I, had to, I had to remind myself that it happened before that branch, because I was like, is, could this be the first evidence of maybe finding information from other branches? Uh, well, it's, technically it's, it's hard it is. To keep track. I mean, this isn't from... Remember, because three is the only way you can get fast-tracked to death. Yeah. This so, is... No, so yeah, this was from seven or eight yeah. uh, doors. Is this from door... Is, whatever, no, this is from door eight, because Lotus took her door and Seven took his door. Right. This is the one we did first, because they wanted to make us stuck with Clover no matter what. So, Because yeah. we talked about the matching pair thing, so... It was us and Clover plus whoever was in their own door. So yeah, it was door, it was door eight. That means that people with prosopagnosia have trouble recognizing even people they're close to. Maybe... maybe he's got prosopagnosia? Huh. Well, he looks depressed enough to have it. What? What? That's not how oh. it works. Time to solve the nine boxes puzzle. Aces card is in box one. Sna Thank you for not making us do this, I just need to do the same for the, the rest. Way. Yeah. And finally, the ninth man. Just because it would be so redundant. Yeah! Oh, they opened! What the? Nine pins. I guess I'll take them with me. There's the pins. Ta da! I love that it kicks you out the moment. Yeah, because, like, you got the key. Yeah, I think that's that's why they have the second menu option is for that, that type of toggle. Like, hey, do you want to have the important conversation that happens in this move? So in that's this room? it. Go down. Let's I'm do that. look at this torture chair. Why? Panel. Well, none of these have yep. keys. No, I'm saying the the second the second thing of each escape room is the conversation. Uh. The panel, like this panel, that's prosopagnesia. The torture room is the I think the the torture chair specifically is it, I think is the reveal about her children or Ace's mission or something. Like that's what happens. I think is each time you go to an escape room, the second option well, there's is the conversation. Computer. Yeah, computer locker. That's where she talks about the pro major. Pro, pro right, major. right, right. That was the mission with Ace. Was the bottom right corner. Da 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 da. That key's yeah. unlocked. Oh, the locks unlocked. Oh shit! There's an unlocked lock on the lock screen with the locks. Let's get an ending. We did it. We're gonna get an ending now. Can't wait. This should be the good end. The soft good ending. They better fucking be running out of options. <laughs> we've seen most of them now. Well, well, we've already got the bad ending. There's not another bad ending. Uh, did you get out of novel mode? Right. Look, it's... Seven and Lotus. We've got a problem. Clover is gone! What? Still? So what do you Clover mean, still gone? Leaves. When? Why? You How? two went into door one with Clover, didn't you? Well, none of the changes we did would change Clover's fate. All the changes yeah. we did just affect those conversations happening. So now we have new information, which is we know about... We know something new about the Nine Room, and we know that... We know that Ace has face blindness, and... Was there something else? Yeah, that's it. Oh, we know that Ace together. is a pharmaceutical man. But Clover barely spoke to. She just did her own. Huh. Let's get through this she, part she, she to where we split up. We call. So this is all the same. Hmm. The situation is not going to change. It, we, we ran. Well, Clover. When did we got. You start seeing. No. Very. We need to get we back to the yeah. part where I'll go. I'll get to the part where we're, where we're June. No. All right. And we're splitting up. Well. And she's like, whoa, 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 whoa. We can still get in. They're go. They're going to room three. Whoa. Why? Oh, should I go back? Do novel. When did that change? Just novel mode. You mean go up? Yeah, go, go up. It's fine. We can read it. So there you go, right there, right there. It ran Let's to see. no down, down, down a bit. I'm just, I'm just, we best separate. No, they, it's, and they split up. It's, sim it's so right it is, here. It is right here. Yeah, yeah, she's not here. No, it isn't. All right, just in case, we should go look in the shower room. The shower room. That's where her brother is. She might have gone to see him. Why didn't we think of that last time? Shut the fuck up, Keith. What <laughs> that the is, fuck that is has wrong nothing with you? to do with what we said. June bit her lip. She knew, as Junpei did, that there wasn't uh, there was only one thing to see in the shower room, and it wasn't pleasant. Well, we might as well check, right? Let's go. There was a screwdriver stuck between the door and the frame. So Good we're finally going something. back and using all these damn things that jam that seven jammed in the doors. Oh. Finally. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. Yeah, the changes we made. I don't see how they correlate with us suddenly deciding to go in the shower room versus not. Though. Well, we have a clear mind now. Weird. Now that we know that Ace is a pharmaceutical head, we now realize, oh right, the screwdriver in the door, we can go through that. 
Are you, are you doing a parody of I'm just logic? doing a parody because this game has yeah. no way of I was going to say, like, that sounded like not an argument. No. Like, that was game, just little, those were words that you just put together. Yeah, this game just were, doesn't have any way of executing yeah, things properly. Weird. They just, yeah. They I'm just like, kind of I'm, like, I'm looking for the twist. I'm like, okay, now something's going to change because of fa Snake's face blindness or something. And it's like, let's go in the shower room. What? Yeah. Thanks, Seven, later. <laughs> they just shout, thanks, Seven. You're welcome. <laughs> like, yeah. No luck. Yeah, I don't think she's here. But the body's gone. The smell is horrible. Let's check the back, just to be sure. No, oh, she's not here. <sighs> Snake, just where did your sister go? Ugh, such a horrible way to go. The skull shattered, the left arm's hideously twisted. Huh? Wait. Oh, so we're realizing again. Yeah. Wounds. My brother's left arm is, um, it's not like a normal person's arm. The accident hurt him really bad. Of course. Of course. Why didn't I realize it earlier? We were all asking um, that jumpy? question. Jumpy? Oh, sorry for making you wait. Let's go. Tell June. No. Spread information, people. What's wrong with you? Ke Keith. It's called 999, not June, let's talk to June, each other. Where were you guys? Did did something happen? Clover is Clover is dead. What? I found her. <laughs> in the first class bathroom. That sound effect that you left. God damn that sound effect. <laughs> that bong. It's, so, it's so dumb every time. Yeah, the dramatic like the, dram the dramatic pang. And especially plays. because it wasn't dramatic. He said Clover is dead. And then you pressed X, but the, the, but the fucking sound didn't have time to, like, scare you. So it was like, and it's, he's in the middle of talking. He's like, da dun And I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, they didn't time it properly with her, with him saying that she's dead. Uh, so, like, the timing was off, so it became funny. God damn, that sound effect. <laughs> also, what? Why is she dead? Oh, this room again. Well, the piano. The combination lock. <laughs> What? what? <sighs> Must have really run here. But yeah, this is the room with the safe. Yeah. <gasps> Ma? Clover. Clover. Well, we're not getting Why? out now. Why did this happen? <sighs> Clover. No way. Let's... Let's get out of here, June. Are you all right? Yes. I I think so. Well, they gave Lotus a break from dying in every single ending. Yeah. You should get some rest. Here, the bed. Can you sit? Yes. Who was the first to find the body? Me. Why did you come to this room? To look for Clover. Why else? I found her body in the bathroom. As soon as I did, I ran outside. I got to the top of the stairs by the casino and yelled as loud as I could. Hey, guys! I found her, but it's bad! She's in the bathroom in the first class cabin! Come quick! Or something like that. Then I went back to the bathroom. Ace, Santa, and Lotus showed up real soon after that. But I guess you two hadn't heard me or something because you didn't show. So I took off down the stairs to look for you. After that, I, I mean, you know the rest, right? Seven, th there's one more thing I'm worried about. What? You stuck one of those plates in between the door and the frame, right? Why did you do that? <sighs> come on, didn't I already tell you that? I did it so that the door wouldn't lock. So we could come back to this room? Oh, you think I did it? Well, I don't know. That kind of depends on what you say, doesn't it? What? For crying out loud. <sighs> Follow me. A closet? Yeah. This is the reason. This safe. We couldn't open it when we were getting through this room. I figured there might be something pretty important in it. 
I couldn't stop thinking about it. I figured eventually we might figure out what the numbers are for the safe. And if we did, I didn't want to screw around with door 5 again. So I put the plate in the exit door so we could get back in that way. You get it now? Yeah. Figured it wouldn't open. Huh? This is... Rust? If there's rust here, that means... Has someone opened the safe? Uh. Huh? Hmm. Maybe there's another clue. Anything that might lead us to discover who stabbed Clover. Behind this door. The ninth man's body is behind there. Maybe I should have another look at it, just oh. in case. Finally! We're gonna find out that the We're gonna finally bus. look at ninth man's body again. Yeah. To find that there's... Is he, is he gone, or is he not have a watch? Something's gotta have changed, right? Oh, the hell. This, this smell is... Oh. Oh. Uh. Did you actually throw up? Wait. It's... it's gone. His bracelet. Well, we were right. It's gone. We were, we've been right for a very long time. Now we finally get about justice. The, oh, Wait, he just says his bracelet's gone. Is is his body gone or the bracelet? Is it just his bracelet? Oh, wait, the body's still there? I think the body is still there. It was right next to the glasses. But why? Huh? Where'd Junpei go? Uh... Mm. Oh, there you are. Were you looking for something in the hallway? Yeah. Did you find something? Uh, no, nothing. What's up? Ah, uh, well, I wanted you to take a look at something. What is it? Clover. <sighs> what was it you wanted to show me? I searched Clover's body again. A real shame. She was stabbed once in the back, probably by a knife or something. And I found this. What? I haven't actually looked at it yet. Didn't want to disturb the crime scene, you know? Basic stuff. Well, I did borrow one thing. What? I'm opening it. Truth had gone, truth had gone, and truth had gone. Ah, now truth is asleep in the darkness of the sinister hand. What is this? Some kind of secret code? Hmm, a code. Sinister hand means... What? Left hand? Is there a basis Ooh. of that, you think, in that? I don't know, I'm just basing it off of the fucking... off of snakes. Bullshit. Oh, like snakes missing hand? Yeah. I don't know, uh, sinister hand. What hand was she holding it in? I don't know. Based on the body, left hand? Wait, right hand? Let's see. Right hand. Yeah, it would be the right hand. Business. Oh, oh yeah, right hand. Yeah, her right hand. That might be it. Maybe. Well, I mean... Is this really relevant? I guess... Only one way to know. We could always just come back. No, that's not right. <laughs> yes, it doesn't matter. In heraldry, the term sinister was used to refer to the left side of a coat okay. of arms. Yeah. So it's... Or more accurately, it referred to things on the left side of a bearer of a coat of arms. Sure. The left hand. Mm. I was just thinking because the fucking snake hand. was missing What does the left hand, hand mean? I was going to like Confederate War era bullshit. Does the darkness of the sinister hand have something to do with the bracelet? Yeah, probably. There's two things sticking out on either side of the face. The left and right sides of the face. Left and right. Left and right. Right and left. Truth is gone. Is it like a combination that you do on your wrist, I wonder? Like on the bracelet itself somehow? Truth. Gone. Hmm. 
truth. Gone. Maybe those two words? Huh. Pushing the sentence around. What else could gone and truth mean? How about reading them backwards? What? Uh, how about switching- wait, how about Let's switching see. the sentence around? Gone had truth? Um... Truth had gone. That'd be a number? Can you say it as a number somehow? Enogdahithu. <laughs> <laughs> it re it recommends reading it backwards is one of the options. I'm like maybe. I feel like it's how about reading it out loud? Switching truth the gone. Around. Truth gone. Truth gone. Truth gone. Truth gone. Truth gone. Truth gone. No, it doesn't turn into anything. Well, uh, let's try. What else could they mean? Yeah. Because last time he was just like our alternate definition. What else could gone and truth mean? Truth, of course, means something that is correct, something that's fact. In other words, something that is right. You could then safely assume that gone means left. After all, after someone left, they were oh. gone. So, right, left, right, left, right, left. Truth is asleep in the darkness of the sinister hand, so... Truth is the number on your, on your left wrist. Left, right, left, right, left, right. I think she's like, talking about the buttons. Combination for the buttons is left, right, left, right, left, right, left, and then hold. Or it could be the left and right, like, combination for the safe that rotates. Well, it has numbers on it, so you need the numbers. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, it could be based on the numbers of people's wrists, because it's, it's on the darkness of their sinister hand. The darkness being the black screen the numbers in. Maybe. But in this case, they clearly refer to their directional homonyms. Then truth equals right. And gone equals left. The word I don't hear often. The left and right of the bracelet. Yeah, I've never heard the idea of gone being left. Homonyms. These oh, two homonyms things are sticking that. out. Oh, I know what that word means. I'm saying I don't hear it often. I don't hear people so going around I... like, let me tell you a homonym. <laughs> like, okay. We press them in the order. Left, right, left, right. So left, right, left, right, left, right. No. Yes. Truth is gone. Truth is gone. Yeah, truth, truth is right. So it'd be right, left, right, left, right, left. Oh yeah, sorry, truth right, gone, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. Yep, that's what What? What? We just Wait, played Russian did roulette? It just... <laughs> what? One four three eight three four two one. That's a combination for the safe. That's a long combination. Well, don't you want to put that in manually? Might be fourteen thirty eight thirty four twenty one. Maybe. Yeah. You gonna write it down? Yeah, just in case. One four three eight three four two one. I got a notepad, might as well write down combinations when they come up. Well, That's a dumb idea. Hey, what are those numbers? Hmm. One, four, three, eight, three, four, <coughs> two, one. Thank you for your contribution. One, four, three, eight, three, four, Where's two, June? one. I thought she was laying in bed. Nobody gets one, rendered four, in three, scenes. Eight, three, four, two, one. I was trying to memorize it. Yep. One four three eight. Three, he should have wrote two, down. One. He has like fucking tons of pieces of paper. Remember, Clover was using it at the end. One four three eight three four two one. For a combination lock that big, I would guess it'd be fourteen thirty eight thirty four twenty one. Huh. One to the right, four to the left. Oh my god! And oh, still turning. Bingo! I knew it was for this. Did you? Really? Oh, is this some sort of note? An eight-digit combination lock for a save? Holy shit. That, I don't even know how you program that. That's a lot. Is this some sort of note? Let's oh, wait. See. Back to number one. The Nanari game was played once before nine years ago. Back number two. The person with the number two bracelet attended the game nine years ago. Oh. 
the snake was a part of this fun party. Yeah. Fact number three. It was pla it was planned by the following four people. Cradle Pharmaceuticals Company, CEO. Gentaro Hango. So hello Ace. So Ace made the Nunnery games? Yes. Why is it in the safe? Chief of Staff? Nagisa Nijisaki. Wait, 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 no. Supervisor. No, wait, hold on, stop. Teruaki stop. Kubota. Or Kubota. What? Isn't Nag. Isn't Nagi. I think that's. Isn't that Akane's name? Is her name Akane Najisiki? No, Najis, it's Naji. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I think that's her last name. Akane. I don't know if we know a Kubota. That's probably three. Why three? I don't know, because it's... Oh, no! No, it's not... It's not seven. Oh, it's probably nine. That's nine. Maybe. I bet that's number... I bet that's nine. Majority shareholder of, in Cradle Pharmaceuticals. Kagechike Kagechika Musashido. No, that's probably... I must punish them. <laughs> For the innocent lives they sacrificed. This is the only warning they will receive. That innocent souls might be saved, I now state the truth. Zero. Wait, why am I here? <sighs> Find out. Sorry, but do you think you could all come with me? Come with you? I want all of you to go to the big hospital room. Why? There's something I want to be sure of. What do you want to be sure of? I want mortal. to know if the person I suspect is really the culprit. Wait, then you're saying... Yeah, I think I've got it figured out. I know who killed Snake and Clover. What? Anyway, if you could all please move to the big hospital room. And stay away from Ace, the killer. <laughs> <laughs> he like assigns people to be in a position in the line. He's like, and Ace, you in the back. It's like, I he's mean, like, wait, like, why like am Ace I? Ace has to know what's happening by now, right? Like, no, because he doesn't know. It doesn't matter. He's fucking. <laughs> he has fucking face dysphoria. So he doesn't know who's saying these things anymore. I'll explain everything as soon as we get there. For all he knows, it could be fucking. Face dysphoria. <laughs> it's face dysphoria. <laughs> It's like the opposite of Rastafaria. <laughs>